Hi guys, this is week 38 Project Life and I'm using the At My Table Life Crafter Kit from Citrus Twist again this week. I've still got plenty of this kit left so I'm going to use some of it up today. I started with my photos as normal and I'm just going through some of the journaling cards. I wasn't particularly fond of the two 4x6 cards that I had left so I'm going to have to do something else with those. But I really liked that spotty journaling card. Um, I haven't done any journaling for a while. Uh, so I'm going to pop that one in there and then use that as sort of a base for my color scheme. So I used that other three by four card that's the bright, bright yellow. And I want to add um, a few other pops of yellow around the page. There is this yellow pattern paper down there. I wasn't too sure whether that was going to be too much yellow or not. Um, I did pull out a wood grainy kind of pattern as well, but in the end I can't decide on either of them. So I'm just going to kind of push that to the side and leave that for now. I did have a 4x6 scrap of that kind of creamy, it's got a really, really light, light, light purpley kind of pattern on it and I'm going to use that for my title card but the rest I don't really know what I'm doing so I started off by going through the die cut pack uh, just I haven't had a huge sort of look through this die cut pack yet so I did pull out a little dish it's my favorite way to look through them uh, and just going through them one by one putting any that I think that I might use onto the layout although I definitely do not end up using all of those uh, and anything else just goes back into the dish and I can use them for another day. Uh, there were plenty that I thought I might use. That one that I put on the 3x4 photo of me and Jack and Tracy FaceTiming couldn't have been more perfect really, but the rest I've just kind of randomly placed. Um, not really sure where they're going to go, so I'm just starting with what I know and the, this die cut fit perfectly. Um, it was yeah it's like it was meant for the photo it frames my little face up in the corner and it doesn't cover up Tracy or Jack's face it was just perfect so all I'm doing for that one is just gluing it on I'm not gonna add any other embellishment to that at all now I've also got some of these chipboard uh, stickers left over I haven't used very many of those at all and there are a few yellow ones in there as well so it's these ones are a bit different. Usually the um, backing paper on the chipboard is kind of a little bit cut from the chipboard, which makes it easy to sort of pop them out and use them uh, to see where you want to put them. This sheet of chipboard, however, is not like that at all. Um, so I have to be a little bit more careful about placing things uh, because I don't want to accidentally stick them down. So I'm gonna start with the die cuts first. This one says love. I'm just trimming off the love bud at the bottom and really, really lightly sticking it onto the um, photo there. There wasn't a lot of space to stick that down, but I'm gonna use one of these chipboard stickers to just um, sort of layer over the top and adhere the die cut down as well. So this is gonna be kind of my little recipe for the day, which is some sort of die cut or label and a chipboard sticker. Now I am denied about this one here. It was um, appropriate for my photo, but seems very large. So I'm sort of trying to place it uh, towards the bottom just so it doesn't cover up any of Shane's face. But what I hadn't anticipated was when I cut the bottom off that the little um, middle piece of the X dropped off. So I did grab my tweezers. Luckily it didn't fly anywhere. It did end up just sitting on my desk there. So grab my tweezers, add a little bit of adhesive and kind of just put that in. Eyeballed it just to where I think it should go. And um, I think it worked out all right. Now, luckily this photo of Mel totally covers up the sentiment on this card, so I don't have to worry about adding any sort of extra things on here. I am gonna add a chipboard piece, and I was gonna stick it straight down, and then I thought, no, nah, I'll, I'll layer it with a label, just because um, I've already sort of layered that chipboard and die cut piece on the bottom left there. The label that I already had trimmed out was a kind of peachy orange color and it sort of got lost on that yellow so I did trim out a darker black one. Um, lots of the photos are quite dark so the black does actually help to sort of balance balance that out so just it's really simple I'm not adding too much else to it just layering that label and the chipboard sticker. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for this photo here. Uh, 
the sticker says less of this which is um, a pretty large bushfire right up behind our house behind the hill on our house uh, so I just wanted to add that simple little sticker and embellishment piece it's not I'm not really adding too much to there just the label helps to anchor it and create a little bit more of an embellishment rather than just plonking the sticker down onto the photo which was what I was going to do in the first place now I've kind of run out of um, options here. I have to work out what I'm going to do with this bottom photo um, and I still still don't know. There's one more little chipboard piece on here that's that bright yellow that I want to use. A little heart which makes um, perfect sense for the first barbecue of the season. Um, but you can see no, I'm, I still don't know what I'm going to do so I'm going to work on the um, title card instead. The alphas in this pack are these tiny little uh, tearly word stickery kind of alphas. I need something bigger than that for my title card. I don't have much of an idea for a title card today so I need the alphas to kind of make a bit of a statement. Uh, and in a recent haul from scrapbook.com I grabbed, I ended up accidentally buying a couple of sets of these stickers. Um, they look sort of creamy white glitter but they have, the glitter kind of has a yellowy sort of reflect to it. So when I was shuffling through the alphas uh, in my drawer to try and find something for the title card, these ones sort of stuck out and that they're subtly yellow. So they kind of go with my theme, but they're not too in your face. Uh, just again to add a little bit of texture and some more yellow to the title card, I did end up trimming a strip of the original yellow pattern paper that I had considered. Uh, it was about a one inch strip that I cut and then I used a uh, border punch just to add a little bit of interest to that and give my title somewhere to sit. So it kind of is creating a shelf. I'm going to tuck my label for my date stamping underneath there but before I glue anything down too hard I do just want to make sure that I'm going to be able to fit everything in so I'm really loosely placing those alphas to make sure that I can get week 38 in there. Luckily this um, alpha set does actually have numbers so that makes it nice and easy. I just shuffling them around. I did end up pushing the 38 down before I probably should have but they peeled up all right. I can pop them down and I'm just tucking that label in behind them and it's sort of nicely balanced. There's the same amount of space on either side and it gives me just a little bit of room to put my date stamping. The label is a tiny bit short to add both um, both the dates so I am going to have to do a little bit of partial stamping. I'm just using the back of one of those scrappy pieces from the kit just to um, make sure that I don't get any ink anywhere that I shouldn't. And then when I finish stamping both the dates I'm just going to use a gel pen just to add my little heart in the middle. And now there's no more avoiding it. I really do have to decide how I'm going to do this bottom card. Um, my sort of initial thing is, is I've got this yellow paper and now that I've used it for the title card it makes more sense to use the yellow rather than the wood grain but I just kind of feel like it's a little bit it's too yellow it's kind of too in your face. I pulled out these little embellishments uh, from the die cut pack and I just don't think they're going to work with that like bright bright yellow um, but I do have a lot of stamps that have something to do with eating. Um, there's not a lot of food on this spread um, apart from this one photo so I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of these foodie stamps to create a bit of my own sort of pattern paper just to fill up some of the space that the um, right hand side is gonna have. But what I was thinking is that I might want to tone down the yellow a bit and probably the easiest way to do that is with a piece of vellum. So I did pull out some vellum from my stash. I've trimmed it down to four by six and now I can do some stamping. So I've got both the three by four stamp from the kit and this four by six set is the This Is Life stamp set for October, uh, which as you can see, totally full of foodie sentiments. So um, a lot of them are to do with gathering and with friends and that sort of thing, eating together, which we didn't, it was just me and Shane. So I'm being selective about which stamps I'm using and just pulling off a few of them. I have got my vellum piece down um, just to give me a rough idea of the 4x6 so I'm just placing the stamps upside down on there uh, and then I'll be able to just stamp my block straight down on top of there 
pick up all the stamps all in one go and just do one stamping. I'm totally cheating. I'm have laid them out how I want them so I don't then want to have to pick them up and stamp them one by one. Now it occurred to me when I put all these stamps on the block I was going to stamp directly onto the vellum which is why I've got my stays on ink out um, but it kind of occurred to me it might be nice to stamp onto the yellow and then put the vellum over top just so that that black isn't too like black black in your face uh, and I really like how that looked so I'm glad I had that wee tester and gave that a try first it means I don't have to worry about this ruining this bit of paper. I can just ink up my block with all of my stamps in one place. Stamp that down. I do tend to press probably a bit harder than I normally would just to make sure that all of those stamps get a nice impression. And um, what a time saver. So that's my little card stamped. My vellum piece is gonna go over top of that. And then I can add everything else onto the top of the vellum. So super easy. Um, I don't have to worry about like adhesive showing through the vellum because I'm going to adhere my photo onto the vellum first. And then I can adhere the vellum onto the card with the photo behind the photo. So you won't see any adhesive and I don't have to worry about trying to use a special tape or glue or anything line that up, stick that down. I am going to use that little yellow heart that I um, picked out in the first place. I do go back to see maybe some puffy stickers but I'm just going to use the chipboard because that carries on the entire theme of my page and all I have left to do now is do some journaling. Now I am going to run this through my typewriter so I've just got some scrap paper. I adhere that down to the scrap paper really lightly, run the whole lot through my typewriter um, making an appropriate amount of spelling mistakes, that's for sure. And then when I peel that off, I just add a little bit of washi tape to cover up that adhesive so it slips into the pocket. And that is this page all done. Love a bit of cherry sunshine yellow, especially since when I was making this, we're on our like sixth consecutive day of rain, so always nice to add a little bit of fake sunshine to my life. And this kit has just the ticket. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen or why not check out my Patreon page, there are even more videos over there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!